All right. So I'm back. I haven't done a video in a while, and here's why: because I'm just waiting on uh, some parts for my gun, and today's a special day because they showed up. There's my new stock on my Tipman A5. This is the exact same folding collapsible stock that you'll find on the Project Salvo gun. I mean, literally the exact same. It's taken off of one and mounted on here. Uh, it's just that uh, Tipman earlier this month released the adapter for the A5, a uh, little connector piece. And um, so this is one of the first times you'll ever see it on an A5, actually, because they just, just started doing it, and it's impossible to find these pieces right now, um, which i got to give a shout-out to Tipman. Thanks a lot for sending that to me. Uh, the company that sold me the stock told me it would come with one, and it didn't. I called and complained. They said they were going to send me the part. They sent it one- to three-day shipping. It still hasn't arrived. Tipman sent it three to uh, three to seven day shipping, and it arrived in four days. So, not bad. Anyways, so what makes this stock so special versus the other one? Well, first of all, it doesn't suck. Uh, secondly, it does this, and that's pretty neat. But uh, let me get into the review of it, starting with the folded out stance, and we'll go into the folded in a minute. Uh, first of all, the look of it, uh, I like it. I like it a lot better than my old stock. There's just something a little bit more original about it. It's a little bit bland, but I don't mind that. Uh, it is longer than the other stock, and I'll get into that in a minute. Um, but uh, it doesn't really get in the way, especially since you can fold it over. Um, one thing I don't like about it, uh, look-wise, it's not doing it as bad now, but sometimes I will look at it, and it'll be like, just slightly angled. It's not straight. Uh, it'll just be kind of leaning, leaning to the side a little bit this way. Uh, it's not so bad now. Maybe it's just maybe I didn't put it in place right, but I don't know. Um, one of the things I like about the length of it is that on the other stock, when I used it, it would have to I'd have to pull it out a notch, and you can pull this out. Um, but right now it sits almost exactly where I need it to be. It's perfect for the scope. It's perfect for... Actually, it feels really nice on my face. Um, but, uh, you know, you don't have to pull it out. That is a good thing, but it's also a problem because I want to show you this. It's a collapsible stock, so you can pull it out. And then you got it way out here like this. And I don't really see why I would ever want to do that. Um... That is, I mean, it's not very comfortable this way. It's way too long. So uh, one problem that that immediately presents me is that, okay, it's nice the way it is flush, and it folds over, so why did you need it to be a collapsible stock? Uh, so, but whatever, it looks cool. It's unique. It's Like I said, it's one of the first times you'll see it on an A5, so for a little time being, there's no gun like mine, <laughs> um, which I'm pretty sure is already the case. But anyways, uh, another issue I had with it is now um, finding a new place for the for the strap connectors. Uh, they used to be way down here. Now I have to put it here, and I'm not 100% sure it holds really well right there. Because, I mean, obviously you don't want to put it down here, because when you fold it over, the strap's just going to keep pulling the stock out. But um, other than that, I mean, I like it. I like the look of it. It feels nice. Uh, it feels much better on my shoulder than the other one did, because that little curve right there. Um, and, uh, yeah, and then, of course, it does this. So, getting into the folding aspect of it. First of all, I, I love this look. I didn't think I'd like it all stubby and with no thing on the end, but I like it. Looks pretty neat to me. Um, so... That's kind of nice for a lot of things. It's definitely nice for transporting this thing because I, I have this giant, uh, I have this giant case that I have to lug around, and it has to be giant because this thing's so long. So now I can fit it in, you know, smaller stuff. Um, the downsides of the stock. I mean, let me not get into the downsides yet. I, I'll tell you one thing. I'm pretty impressed on for a stock made for a completely different gun. It does a good job of avoiding the cyclone feed and still folds around. It doesn't fold around exactly all the way, 
but it folds around enough, and it doesn't hit that hit the cyclone speed at all. It does hit my magazines, as you can see, the double magazine that I made. Um, see the shape of it does hit that, but it's not really the end of the world. Sometimes bumps it. Um, I always laugh at like with this style, you want to do pistol grip. Oh my God! But you really can't. Ow. Jesus. Um, ow, man. Yeah, this is a heavy gun. Uh, I'll get into that in a second. Um, one humorous side of that is that, uh, um, well, I'll get into it in a second. The one downside of the folded grip, I have to say, or the folded stock, is that when in this position, it is constantly hitting with this little knurled pad right here that, that helps extend the stock, it is sitting right on my knuckle and I, I, you can, almost can see it. It's all red just from the few seconds I was playing with it. Um, so you pretty much need to wear a glove with this thing. That's, that's kind of, I mean, I'll be wearing a glove all the time anyways, but it just kind of sucks. Um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing too much to this. Nothing much to this. It's just that um, yeah, I mean, it folds up compact out of the way so you can get some close range combat, keep the gun close to you, and it extends out if you want to set, set it on your shoulder and really take aim. Um, so I think that's, I think that's really cool. I think it's really neat and I, uh, I'm very happy I got it. It's definitely better than the last stock that was about to explode and kill a bus full of children or something, but yeah. Um, another thing that's also nice about it is that, and I can't see it because I've covered it up with this connector, but it's just a, there's a screw right here, and then if you can undo the screw, you can actually slide it off and take it off completely and leave the back plate on there so that you can still use the gun. Why you would do that when you could just fold it over, I don't know, but, um, but you could, you know. Um, so, that being said, uh, there's nothing much to this, but what's funny, what I was trying to say earlier was funny, is that um, I said in my, one of my recent videos, I just kind of tore apart speedballers saying, this is a woods ball gun, it'll never see a speedball field. Well, yeah, that still remains true, but there's something I was uh, playing with, and I realized if you just take a few twists of the grenade launcher here, a few more twists, take that right off, take my magazine, then take that right off, close up the scope here and hold her around. Now I can pistol grip it. This isn't actually that bad. I mean it's stiff, but it's I I can hold this. I couldn't hold that. It took about five pounds off just for this. So now I have a much lighter, more compact gun. I could go onto a speedball field with this. I I, I still probably won't, but I could. If I got a, to a field and a bunch of speedballers were talking smack or something, I could go out there and challenge them, I guess. I mean, it's not terrible. You can keep it up close. I do have to have the remote line, but, you know, can really get that going. And uh, so, yeah, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> kind of contradicts what I said, but, you know. But really, it's still just a woods ball field. You only see it on a woods ball field. Um, so, yeah. But uh, that that's that on the stock. I did. Uh, I didn't. I don't know if I mentioned about the double magazine. I got two AK-47 magazines. I did mention that. I do remember it now. Um, the other thing is, I forgot to mention the other day. I got some new things in as well. I was so focused on the stock, I forgot to say. I got a hundred of the little red caps for my grenade launchers, um, which was you know now gives me about 120 that I have. And I got this little thing, which is the adapter. You screw this onto an actual CO2 tank, take it, spray it into the grenade instead of green gas, so you can refill it on a field and shoot the grenades, and it should give you a lot more power. Now, how much more power? You know, how well does it work? I have no idea because I ran out of CO2. Go figure. And the sad thing is I'm going uh, paintballing tomorrow, I, I just got this in, um, and 
I don't have an extra tank, and I'm out of green gas, so it's pretty much going to not use the grenades again tomorrow, so I uh, don't know what I'm going to do about that. Another big uh, update was I was looking for a shroud so that I could change from the flatline barrel to the Apex 2 barrel and still maintain the grenade launcher, uh, and I, it was really hard to find the shroud. And I finally found it, but I found it in Canada, and so it's going to be even longer before I get that. So that update's not going to happen for a while. But, um, yeah, that's, that's that, and uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And